English grammar. Complete grammar for all purposes. By Pravin Kendale. Synthesis and transformation. Synthesis. A process in which two or more than two sentences are joined to make one sentence is called a synthesis. Synthesis can be done in three ways to create following three types of sentences. A simple sentence. B compound sentence. C complex sentence. Simple sentence. A sentence in which there is only one subject and one predicate, only one verb, is called as a simple sentence. Compound sentence. A sentence in which there are two or more than two principal clauses is called as a compound sentence. In compound sentence the two sentences are generally joined using and but nevertheless either or neither nor whereas both as well as not only but also otherwise. Complex sentence. A sentence in which there is only one main clause and one or more subordinate clauses is called as a complex sentence. In complex sentence the two sentences are generally joined using that when whose whom how why what where which unless until as till if while who because since etc. Note, though there are only three types of sentences there can be sentences having two main clauses and one or more subordinate clauses such sentences are called as compound complex sentence. For example, while Murali played the symbols Yogi sang and I danced. There are different ways of synthesizing sentences to form simple compound or complex sentences from more than one sentence. A simple sentence. One using ing verb equals participle. When the subject of two sentences is same, subject of one sentence may be a noun and that of the other is a pronoun, then using form of the action to happen first. For example, he knelt upon the bank he bent down to quench his thirst. Kneeling upon the bank he bent down to quench his thirst. I dropped my book I jumped up. Dropping my book I jumped up. Note, if the first sentence is showing existence then use being plus third form of the verb present in the predicative phrase or add the phrase itself. For example, Mary was confused she remained silent. Being confused Mary remained silent. We were unaware of all this we moved around town with the juggler. Being unaware of all this we moved around town with the juggler. 2. Having and past participle. When in rule number 1 past perfect tense is used in the sentence showing the action to happen first having plus past participle should be used in the simple sentence used. For example. Mina had lost all her property she had to do job as a housemaid. Having lost all her property Mina had to do job as a housemaid. I had made up my mind I was prepared to face them. Having made up my mind I was prepared to face them. 3 ing verb in predicative part. When two actions are going on side by side then using form of the verb in the predicative part as below. For example. She entered the office she was singing. She entered the office singing. He fell to the ground he was bleeding. He fell to the ground bleeding. Foring verb with preposition. In this we have to use a preposition that suits most in the sentence with ing form of the verb. Sometimes a simple sentence can be constructed using a preposition without ing form of sentence. For example, I kicked the door and opened it. I opened the door by kicking it. She heard the sad news she fell unconscious. By hearing the sad news she fell unconscious. She can do social work she must help the poor. By helping the poor she can do social work. She gave him gifts she sent him away. She sent him away with gifts. 5. Using infinitive. A simple sentence can also be made using an infinitive. For example, it was a delicate position he was quick to appreciate it. He was quick to appreciate the delicate position. He was very tired and thirsty he could not wait. He was too tired and thirsty to wait. At that time we were very young we could not understand. At that time we were too young to understand. 
6. Using adjectives slash adverbs slash phrases in apposition. In some sentences we can use adjective phrase or adverb form of some word and form a simple sentence. For example, We will win the match it is certain. We will certainly win the match. He paused he was undecided. He paused undecided. Their only son went to USA yesterday he was a student of Z Club. Their only son a student of Z Club went to USA yesterday. B compound sentence. 1 using and both and not only but also as well as. For example. She was rich and powerful her people were good and loyal. She was rich and powerful and her people were good and loyal. Everyone praised their children they celebrated their deeds. Everyone not only praised their children but also celebrated their deeds. 2. Using choice deciding conjunctions or either or neither nor otherwise or nor. For example. Come here go there. Come here or go there. I will do MBA I will do M Tech. I will do either MBA or M Tech. 3. Using conjunctions showing contrast, yet but still however. For example. Sahadeva looked about him he could see no one. Sahadeva looked about him but he could see no one. He was not feeling well he attended the meeting. He was not feeling well but slash yet slash still he attended the meeting. 4. Using other conjunctions which show effects, therefore so for. For example. He stood first in UPSC he had studied hard. He had studied hard so he stood first in UPSC. She was very unhappy she failed. She failed so she was very unhappy. See complex sentence. 1. Using different subordinate clauses. Using noun clause. For example. The great man was standing behind her she did not realize it. She did not realize that the great man was standing behind her. Her aunt was ill a messenger cannot say this. A messenger can no say that her aunt was ill. Using adjective clause. For example. I got through to Moen he was with my father. I got through to Moen who was with my father. He gave me some stupid suggestions it did not work. He gave me some stupid suggestions which did not work. Using adverb clause. For example. A man gives up anger he is full of peace then. When a man gives up anger he is full of peace. The train stopped it was not supposed to stop there. The train stopped where it was not supposed to stop. Note while making a complex sentence from two or more simple sentences we have to use following conjunctions in general. Who whom who's which why how what where when unless until till if since because etc. For example, I purchased a house I do not remember the date. I do not remember the date when I purchased a house. Transformation Rules One exchange besides equals not only but also. If the sentence is a simple sentence having beside in it then it can be converted into a compound sentence by using not only but also in it. Reverse is equally true. For example, besides being a manager he is an owner. He is not only a manager but also an owner. Besides English she learns Spanish. She learns not only English but also Spanish. To exchange in spite of slash despite equals yet slash but slash still equals though. If the sentence is a simple sentence having in spite of slash despite in it then it can be converted into a compound sentence by using yet slash but slash still in it and it can be converted into a complex sentence by using though in it. Reverse is equally true. For example. In spite of his poverty he paid complete fees. He was poor but he paid complete fees. He paid complete fees though he was poor. 3 exchange to equals or 
If the sentence is a simple sentence having to in it then it can be converted into a compound sentence by using or slash otherwise in it and by converting the next sentence into negative if it was in positive. Reverse is equally true. For example, he must invite us to get good response. He must invite us or he will not get good response. For if the simple sentence is having being in it then it can be converted into a compound sentence by converting being phrase into a complete sentence showing existence using forms of to be. For example, being responsible she never thought of cheating her friends. She was responsible so she never thought of cheating her friends. 5. If the sentence is a compound sentence then remove the coordinating conjunction present in it to transform it into a simple sentence keep only one main verb and add remaining sentence in the form of a phrase using an infinitive slash gerund slash a preposition. For example, she got up and ran away. Getting up she ran away. She must follow the rules otherwise she will not be spared. She must follow the rules to be spared. 6. While transforming a simple sentence into a complex sentence transform the noun, predicative part, into a sentence and join it using a proper subordinating conjunction. For example, she liked your suggestion. She liked what you suggested. No one knows the time of her arrival. No one knows when she will arrive. Let us wait till his arrival. Let us wait till he arrives. A wounded animal is very dangerous. An animal that is wounded is very fierce. 7. While transforming a complex sentence into a simple sentence remove the word because of which the sentence has become the complex sentence and keep only one verb without changing the meaning of the sentence. For example, tell us when the meeting will be held. Tell us the time of the meeting. This is the place where the murder was committed. This is the place of murder. When she saw the police she ran away. On seeing the police she ran away. Note, while transforming any sentence remember that if the resulting sentence is expected to be a simple sentence then there should be only one main verb in it if the resulting sentence is expected to be a compound sentence then there should be two sentences with two main verbs and the sentences must be joined by a coordinating conjunction and if the resulting sentence is expected to be a complex sentence then there should be two sentences with two main verbs and the sentences must be joined by a subordinating conjunction exclamatory slash assertive sentences a sentence which expresses sudden feelings and sudden emotions is called as an exclamatory sentence such sentences are generally started with what and how and end with an exclamation mark rules to transform a sentence into an exclamatory sentence a if the given sentence contains a or and then use what is the first word in the exclamatory sentence otherwise use how or if the sentence has a noun after an adjective then use what otherwise use how. b. Drop the words like very extremely really indeed immensely terribly so great which show intensity of the feelings and start the exclamatory sentence from the word after it put the word or word before such words in the end of the sentence and add the exclamation mark. c. In the sentence having infinitive or some phrase after the adjective or the noun then put the infinitive or the phrase as it is in the exclamatory sentence in the end. For example, it was an extremely delightful program. What a delightful program it was. We were all excited. How excited we were. She is very sad. How sad she is. This is a strange request. What a strange request it is. There was a tremendous sound in the forest. What a sound there was in the forest. Very funny. How funny it is. It was stupid of you to forget the marriage date. How stupid of you to forget the marriage date. I wish I were child again. Oh that I were child again. Affirmative, negative. An affirmative sentence can be transformed into a negative sentence in different ways. A. By using antonyms. For example, it's not so easy to build a house. 
it's very difficult to build a house. B. By using certain verbs viz forget fail avoid help refuse deny refrain. For example, she did not reach the exam center in time. She failed to reach the exam center in time. C. By changing degree. For example, Rakesh is the smartest boy in the class. No other boy in the class is as smart as Rakesh. D. By using no sooner, than neither nor unless but except without so, that etc. For example, she was orphan. She had neither father nor mother. Every man has a failure. There is no man without a failure. E. By using double negative. For example, everyone makes mistakes sometimes. There is no one who does not make mistakes sometimes. F. By using none but in place of only. For example, only the smart deserve the award. None but the smart deserve the award. If. If is used to show conditions in the sentence when if is used the sentence has two clauses the conditional sentence is the subordinate clause and the resultant sentence is the main clause. There are mainly three rules based on three types of conditions that govern the use of particular tense in the conditional sentence and in the resultant sentence. Following are the three conditions. A probable condition. This is the condition when something is possible and is likely to happen in such condition simple present tense should be used in the conditional sentence and simple future tense should be used in the resultant sentence if needed may can must or ought to can also be used in the main clause. For example, if Snaha comes tomorrow she will get her salary. If Moen does MTech he will become a lecturer. Note. In the conditional sentence if there is a direct address to the listener or if cause and its effects are expressed or universal truth is expressed then both the sentences should be in simple present tense. For example, if you reach home before 9 am give this box to mom. If one drinks poison one dies instantly. Be improbable. This is the condition when something is possible but isn't likely to happen or a condition of expressing imagination in such condition simple past tense should be used in the conditional sentence and would slash should and v5 type structure should be used in the resultant sentence if needed might or could can also be used in the main clause. For example, if she studied hard she would pass SBI PO. If Suchin played well India would win every match. See impossible. This is the condition when something is not possible to happen in such condition past perfect tense should be used in the conditional sentence and would slash should and have plus v3 type structure should be used in the resultant sentence if needed might or could can also be used in the main clause. For example, if I had been in the United States now I would have visited White House, means I am now here and hence impossible to be there in US. Since. Since can be used in following four ways. A present perfect tense plus since plus simple past slash past time phrase equals this is the structure that is used while using since. For example. I have not seen her since I left Mumbai. B present perfect continuous tense equals since is used in this tense when we want to talk about an action that started in past and still going on i.e. an action going on for a duration of time. For example, I have been running the classes since May 20, 2003. See if the main clause before since shows the length of time then use simple present in the main clause and simple past or other tense in other clause. For example, it is 15 years since I came to Amravati. D. If both the actions one shown by the main verb and the other shown by the other clause are continue then use present perfect in both. For example, I have not taken tea since I have been in touch with Iskan. Interrogative, assertive, imperative, transformation. While making interrogative sentence from the assertive sentence if the interrogative sentence is positive then the assertive sentence should be negative and vice versa. For example, honesty is better than money. 
Isn't honesty better than money? That is not the way one should behave with children. Is that the way one should behave with children? Everyone knows that politicians are corrupt. Who doesn't know that politicians are corrupt? No one can get money and happiness together. Can anyone get money and happiness together? Imperative sentence. Use will you when the sentence is an imperative sentence. For example, stop writing. Will you stop writing? Stand up. Will you stand up? Please give me this mobile a gift. Will you please give me this mobile a gift? Reversal. There are times in English when the general position of the helping verb i.e. after the subject changes and it comes before the subject we call it a reversal of position. Rules of reversal of positions. A. If following words are present in the sentence then there will be reversal of the position of the helping verb. Words, not only never never before scarcely rarely hardly under no circumstances nowhere else seldom etc. For example. Hardly had I got my result when everyone got surprised. Never before have I seen such a game. Under no circumstance will he accept your request. B. Make reversal if the sentence begins with only in this way only like this only by hard work. For example. Only in this way can I do my job well. Only by hard work can one succeed in life. C. Make reversal if the sentence begins with to such. For example, to such a degree did he harass her that she got mad. D. Make reversal if the sentence begins with a adverbial phrase and the adverbial phrase begins with so for example so loudly so nicely etc. For example, so rudely did he behave with people that no one visited his shop again. So beautifully did he draw a picture that everyone liked it. E make reversal by dropping if from the if clause having had should or were in it. For example, if I had worked hard I would have got the contract. Had I worked hard I would have got the contract. F make reversal using so while showing that the action from the first sentence also done by the second subject. For example, he must help her so must you. She can dance well so can he. G make reversal if the sentence starting with neither OR nor follows a negative sentence. For example, he can't solve the problem nor can she. They did not ask questions neither did we. As soon as slash no sooner than slash hardly when slash scarcely dash when. For example, as soon as I enter the class everyone stands up. No sooner do I enter the class than everyone stands up. As soon as she began to sing the program was cancelled. No sooner did she begin to sing than the program was cancelled. As soon as he had woken up he washed his face. Hardly had he woken up when he washed his face. He had hardly woken up when he washed his face. Scarcely had he woken up when he washed his face. As soon as he had read the book he became very nervous. Hardly had he read the book when he became very nervous. He had hardly read the book when he became very nervous. Scarcely had he read the book when he became very nervous. As soon as he bent down he heard her warning voice. No sooner did he bend down than he heard her warning voice. Hardly had he bent down when he heard her warning voice. He had hardly bent down when he heard her warning voice. Scarcely had he bent down when he heard her warning voice. Able to slash unable to slash capable of. In the questions where remove able to or remove can or use capable of following chart will be useful meanings of following words are same and hence they can be interchanged. Can equals is able to is capable of are able to are capable of could equals was able to was capable of were able to were capable of cannot equals is unable to is not able to is not capable of are unable to are not able to are not capable of could not equals was unable to was not able to was not capable of 
were unable to were not able to were not capable of. It is slash was possible for equals can also be used in place of can or could. Note, use only ing form of the verb after capable of. For example, A you can persuade her. You are able to persuade her. You are capable of persuading her. It is possible for you to persuade her. B he could still see nobody. He was still not able to see anybody. He was still unable to see anybody. He was not capable of seeing anybody. It was not possible for him to see anybody. See I cannot attend them simultaneously. I am not able to attend them simultaneously. I am unable to attend them simultaneously. I am not capable of attending them simultaneously. It is not possible for me to attend them simultaneously. D. Even police couldn't catch the thieves. Even police were not able to catch the thieves. Even police were unable to catch the thieves. Even police were not capable of catching the thieves. It was not possible for even police to catch the thieves. 2 dash to slash so that. Use to in place of so and to in place of that. After to use the main verb from the second sentence removing the subject from the second sentence. While converting the sentences from to 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 so that if one is negative then the other should be positive and vice versa. Use so in place of to and that in place of to. After that use a clause with can if the sentence is in present and could if the sentence is in past. For example. A he is too tired to wait. He is so tired that he cannot wait. B he was too thirsty to wait. He was so thirsty that he could not wait. C she was too small to definition and her goals. She was so small that she could not definition and her goals. D it is so windy that none can sit outside. It is too windy to sit outside. E she was so busy that she could not notice the great man. She was too busy to notice the great man. F the doctor was so clever that she did not open the subject abruptly. The doctor was too clever to open the subject abruptly. As well as slash not only but also slash both dash and slash and use as well as. A remove not only dash but also both dash and and to etc. B use the common part only once and put as well as between the uncommon part. For example, 1. He was rich and he was powerful. He was rich as well as powerful. 2. His people were good and they were loyal too. His people were good as well as loyal. 3. He coughed and shuffled his feet. He coughed as well as shuffled his feet. Use not only dash but also. A. Remove as well as both dash and and two etc. B. Use the common part only once and put not only before the first uncommon part and but also before the second uncommon part. E.g. 1. You guard us and feed us. You not only guard us but also feed us. 2. It was possible for him both to save space and speed up experiments. It was possible for him not only to save space but also to speed up his experiments. Use both dash and. A. Remove not only dash but also as well as and to etc. B. Use the common part only once and put both before the first uncommon part and and before the second uncommon part. 1. It was possible for him both to save space and speed up experiments. 2. She not only closed the door but bolted it from outside. She both closed the door and bolted it from outside. 3. It looked cool and inviting. It looked both cool and inviting. If slash unless. Just like if unless is also used for expressing conditions unless means if, not. For example. If she does not study hard she will fail. Unless she studies hard she will fail. If you don't study math how can you become an engineer? Unless you study math how can you become an engineer? If the boss finds out I shall be sacked. 
Unless the boss finds out I shall not be sacked. If one thought of the danger one would hesitate. Unless one thought of the danger one would not hesitate. Some of them can cause accident if you are careless. Some of them cannot cause accident unless you are careless. Going to. Going to is used to show a colorful and exciting future. It also expresses that the action is about to happen soon. The action is pre-planned and purposeful. Generally going to is preferred only in the positive sentences but in the negative sentences will not is preferred. After going to we must use only the root form of the verb only. For example, one I'll learn English next year. I am going to learn English next year. Two will steal their bags. We are going to steal their bags. Three I shall bring a lot of toys. I am going to bring a lot of toys. Four he will tell you a story. He is going to tell you a story. Five will you stay with us forever and ever? Are you going to stay with us forever and ever? Had better. Had better is used just like going to. That is we have to use the root form of the verb after had better had better means something is better to be done. While making negative of had better use the not after better only. We can make negative question of had better but not the positive question. For example. You had better go to your home. She had better appear for the banking exams. He had better not tease her. Hadn't he better join another company? Used to. Used to is used to express a discontinued habit in past but if it used in other structure it may mean just some habit or practice of doing something. Would also mean the same and hence these two words can be exchanged. For example. After school he would go to the theater to watch movies. After school he used to go to the theater to watch movies. He would find fault with almost everything. He used to find fault with almost everything. When Rada was younger she would cajole him. When Rada was younger she used to cajole him. Either slash neither. Either is used with the meanings, one of the two and the both. For example. Either of these two will do. Houses have been built on either bank of the river. Neither is used with meanings, not the one nor the other. For example, neither idea is practicable. You should take neither side. Either or equals is used to show choice from two one will be chosen in the end. For example, I will either go to Mumbai or to Delhi. She will come either by a bus or by a car. Neither dash nor equals is used to show choice from two none will be chosen in the end. For example, he will neither eat a fruit nor a chocolate. She will neither sing an old song nor a new one. Capitalization Rules for the use of capital letters Capital letter must be used in following conditions. 1. The first alphabet of every sentence. For example, Moen is playing football. They were asking for some money. 2. The first alphabet of every line in the poems. 3. The first alphabet of every proper noun. For example, Rajanish Nihane Punya Advait etc. 4. The first alphabet of names of the months. For example, November, January, March, etc. 5. The first alphabet of names of the days. For example, Tuesday, Sunday, Friday, etc. 6. The first alphabet of names of the festivals. For example, Diwali, Christmas, ID, Dussara, etc. 7. The first alphabet of name of a language. For example, English, Marathi, Hindi, etc. 8. The first alphabet of that every word which are used to refer to the God. For example, I believe in God and I know He always takes care of everyone. 9. The first alphabet of names of newspapers. For example, The Times of India The Hindu etc. 
10 the first alphabet of headings of anything. For example, the chart for speech organ practice. 11 the first alphabet of names of political parties. For example, Bharatiya Janata Party Indian National Congress Shiv Sena etc. 12 the personal pronoun I and interjection O must be always capital. For example, I want to win hearts of everyone. I will change the world one day. Oh what a lovely car it is. 13 the first alphabet of any exclamation. For example, oh, alas, etc. 14 the first alphabet of the personified words. For example, O oh liberty what crimes have been made in thy name. 15 The first alphabet of name of religion communities castes and sects. For example, Hindu Muslim Sikh Christian Maratha Rajput Kshatriya etc. 16 The first alphabet of the titles of persons. For example, Bharat Ratna Padma Vibhushan Padma Shri etc. 17 Abbreviation. For example, IPS IRS IAS IFS MSC MA MP etc. 18 The first alphabet of salutations in the beginning or in the end. For example, Dear Manish Yours Faithfully etc. 19 The first alphabet of names of trains ships airplanes etc. For example, The Amba Express the Mughal Steamer etc. 20 The first alphabet of names of the educational, social and religious institutions. For example, Amravati University Bharati Vidyapith etc. 21 The first alphabet of the names of important historical events and buildings. For example, The Independence Day The Republic Day The Taj Mahal Red Fort etc. 22 The first alphabet of an adjective derived from a proper noun. For example, Himalayan foothills Indian tourist Japanese art Indian coffee etc. 23 The first alphabet of names of epics and famous mythological books. For example, the Bhagavad Gita the Bible etc. 24 The first alphabet of names of important awards and rewards. The Parambar Chakra the Bharat Ratna the Padma Shri etc. 25 The first alphabet after colon. Rajai, where were you in the evening? Saraka, I was with Snahil. Keep studying, keep growing. Pravin Kendale, 